Hi, I'm Tyson. And I'm Callie. And we are at Aviation Adventures. Now there's a lot that goes into getting these airplanes prepped and ready to spray each season. One of those things is a pattern test. We're gonna bring you behind the scenes today as we pattern test one of our Thrush aircraft. The reason that we do this is that all of the product comes out of these spray nozzles that are mounted on the airplane. And these nozzles come in different shapes and sizes. They put out a certain droplet size though. At the end of the day, that's what they're doing is putting out droplets. And we wanna know what size those droplets are, as well as how wide of a spray pattern we're getting. We wanna ensure that we don't have any light spots in certain areas and heavy spots in other areas. This ensures that we are doing the best possible job that we can do for all of our growers and our customers. With this drop flight kit, this is awesome because we can actually do it on our own. Normally what we would do is take the airplane, fly it somewhere on certain dates, what they have these around the country throughout the year, where it's called a pattern test clinic. With drop flight, you can do the same thing, but you can do it on your own time. What kind of is the limiting factor, what I don't love about these spray clinics is that when I go, I usually just can run across the string three times. That's just the one that I've been to, and I wanna be able to change a bunch of stuff. We have multiple airplanes, they all put out a slightly different pattern, and we wanna be able to change the nozzles, run the airplane over this drop flight kit, look at what it's doing, change things as we need to, and then try different things. I'm gonna have Callie talk to you all about the drop flight and why we like it so much, what's included when you buy one. The greatest thing about the drop flight is that it is a kit and it all comes nicely packaged in this case here. So we just throw this in the back of the pickup and we head out to a spot in the airport where we have plenty of room. Inside the case, we have stakes, these are what you're going to pound into the ground. You have the card mounts. These are going to go on top of the stake. And then you have a measuring tape. We're going to space these three feet apart and we're going to do 50 mounts. It's going to be a little bit different depending on the aircraft. Um, or if you're testing a drone, that's another option. But they have all that information on their website and we'll link to that below. But for us today, we're gonna do three feet apart, 50 card mounts. There are also a couple of flags in here that we'll set up. There are two important parts of the drop flight kit that I haven't mentioned. One being the drop flight cards. Now you need these proprietary cards for the drop flight app. And that's the other thing I haven't mentioned. You have an app on your phone and that's what's going to read all of the data and compile it into a PDF that we can read and analyze the data from. These cards are gonna pick up any drops, any size that come out of the airplane. Like Callie said, we then take photos of each card, app analyzes everything for us and tells us exactly what our pattern is doing. Let's go ahead and set this up. We're gonna show you guys exactly how we do it and show you just how easy it is. The first step is to determine where your wind is coming from. Today it's a light and variable wind, but we've determined that it's predominantly southeast. So we're gonna set the line of cards up perpendicular to the wind so that Tyson can fly into the wind. We're a little bit OCD, so we're gonna try and get this line as straight as possible. We're gonna measure out 147 feet. We're gonna pound a stake in every three feet down the line. And this is pretty efficient with two people. You can have one person pounding stakes and the second person coming through with the card mounts. But when you're filming, nothing is efficient. We just got done going down the entire line and installing these card mounts. Now you do have three different options on how these face, dependent on what aircraft you're testing and the conditions outside. For us, we're gonna put these at 30 degrees and the card is actually going to lay right here. It's going to face into the wind. The last thing that we need to do is get these cards on here. Everything is set up. We got the flags in the ground and those are gonna give me a straight line to follow as I go over the cards. Last thing we need to do is go back to the hangar, grab the airplane, put some water in it and start running some pattern tests. After the pass, I go to my drop flight app, new test, start scanning. All you have to do is hold your phone over the card, get a photo, hit keep, and move on down the line. Mm. 
All right, we got the airplane put away. Now for the fun part, looking at all of our data that we have in the drop flight app. So we ended up running two separate tests with two passes per test. So that information is gonna overlay in each test with each pass. My first two, I had the nozzles on the outboard end of the booms shut off, both nozzles on each end. That narrowed up my swath. That's what I would run for herbicide. Then I opened up every nozzle and re-ran it at a wider swath and did that twice. Now what it'll do is it'll overlay everything. So the graph telling you what your swath is, showing where it's heavy and it's light, it overlays all of that. So you can see every pass that you're doing and compare it right on top of the other. After you take the photos of all of the cards, they're now stored in the app. So when you go to the test and you look at it, besides the information that's gonna tell you like your gallons per acre or your volume mead diameter or your swath width and exactly what your pattern looks like, where it's heavy, where it's light, at the bottom, you can go back and you can see every card that you sprayed. So you can go through it and scroll through and it tells you at what increment feet that that was at. So I can look 15 feet out and I can actually see that card like we had it out there when I actually sprayed it. I can review all of this. I can see exactly what my droplets look like on every card and it's there forever, as well as all of these tests. So we ran one of these last year and we can go through and look at that and see if anything has changed from when we did this last year. Now we also input all of our weather data. So if you're doing this with different conditions, like it's 90 degrees right now, we have some evaporation occurring, well we can go back and review what it was like last year. What were the conditions? What were the winds, temperature, all of that stuff. You can also export your tests as a PDF. So if you're someone that likes to hold a piece of paper, you can export it as a PDF, print it off and have it for your records. On the chemical jug, on the label, it's going to tell you what you should be spraying at, what your droplet size should be. Well, with this, you can go through and make sure that you're obviously spraying at the correct droplet size. Also, if you have an issue with a drift claim, they're gonna to wanna to see some type of data that proves what you're actually putting out of the airplane is what you say you're doing. But with drop flight, we have it all right here. We can show them, hey, this is exactly how the airplane was set up. This is exactly what the volume mean diameter is, our swath width, this is what our droplet size is. It's a little bit of peace of mind as well. We are going to do a few things with this airplane and the spray system over the winter. So come next spring, we can pull it out and we can run more pattern tests to make sure again, that we are giving the customer the best pattern that we can possibly get, the best coverage, the best uniformity. Another thing we love about Drop Flight is that this was developed by an ag pilot. This is not just someone outside of the industry looking to make a product for us. This is built by someone who is an ag pilot. And so they know what to look for. They know what we needed. And I think this is gonna be a very important piece of equipment for everyone within the industry. And I think it's gonna become an industry standard rather than traveling to pattern tests. If you look at it and you're not quite sure maybe how you should change your nozzles or if you should change orifice sizes or anything like that, you can definitely reach out to Rob. He will help you out and tell you, hey, maybe try changing this, spacing this a little bit differently to get a more uniform pattern. If you have any other questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Also, we put all this information together in one spot on our website. You can check that out at agaviationadventures.com. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Ag Aviation Adventures. We're doing a lot more updates frequently there and be sure to subscribe here if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Callie. And I'm Tyson, and we're Ag Aviation Adventures.